everyone. Welcome back to another episode of The Native Diaries. Um, and an exciting one, I think. You be the judge of that. You know what to do. Grab yourself a cuppa, sit back and enjoy the show. Well, listen, since you were last here uh, a couple of weeks ago now, um, we have had some new arrivals to uh, the Native Diaries um, in the form of new acquisitions um, and in the form of some young. So although it's very, very early still, um, because the birds are in um, in the canary room, so they're all, uh, you know, enjoying enhanced natural daylight and I've got a heating system on in here as well so um, they ha- they are brought forward so if your natives aren't doing anything don't worry about it um, look at the new arrivals first um, now I say this every time I'm on the show I think massively indebted to my very good friend Alan Horry uh, Al has um, sorted me out with uh, a couple of finches here um, the cockbird is outstanding um, so a couple of goldfinches uh, and, a, and a spare hen goldfinch so um, they're in the room they will be uh, when we complete the breeding complex outside I say complete it we haven't started it yet done the groundwork but haven't started it yet when we complete that they will be um, moving into there and um, so delighted to have them I've also got a couple of red pole hens normal red pole hens um, they are um, in uh, in good form, lovely little birds, good colour, good type, uh, what you'd expect from Al really. Um, so they have made seven pairs of red poles up now in the room, which is great. Um, so those are our, our new arrivals in terms of acquisitions. Uh, and then earlier this week, this happened. So you can see we've got a, a couple of young um, in this first nest. This is a, an un. Uh, an unflighted pair of, of poles, both pied, um, and she's got two young. There is another full egg, but it hasn't hatched. Um, and then this is the uh, another nest. I've got four out of five so far, um, and this is uh, another hen. This hen is um, from a pair I had last year, so it's a flighted pair. She did really well for me last year. So, of course, what that means is we've got uh, live food on the go. Um, So, always nice to feed that. And we've also got frozen pinkies, which are defrosted um, for the young, as well as the egg food and the soak seed and all of those things that you do when you've got young in the nest. So, from uh, the red pole perspective, so far so good. A couple of the other hens are building up in fact i can see the silver still seems to be building a nest for days the um one of the pairs of cobalts is built up she hasn't laid yet which is a bit of a surprise but uh, i'm sure she will at some stage um so red pole wise we're going okay let's have a little look at the goldies now So, as I mentioned a little bit earlier, we have um, a couple of pairs of goldfinches. Um, Pair just over here, been in the room, um, been in that cage for a while now. They've steadied down quite a lot. Pair behind me, which is the new pair in there still. They've come from flights. Cock's relatively steady. Hen's mad. Um, They're young birds, the hens, so I don't... And the cocks are young birds, so I don't expect them to do a great deal this year, to be honest. but lovely birds and delighted to have them in and feeding them a little bit of soak seed uh, just to try and bring them into condition cock i think is almost there hens i don't think are yet Um, the other pair their beaks pretty much clear now so um you know hopefully it's a three-year-old hen Um, it's a young cock bird but hopefully the hen will go to nest in here and uh, she was from outside last year so um, hopefully we will uh, we will see some success with the goldies bullies wise well if i spin around a little bit just in there um, there's a bully hen now she's on five eggs i haven't checked the eggs i haven't taken them away just looking at them in the nest they look full they're due to hatch any day and they haven't yet um, now she didn't sit tight 
initially early on um, incubation you know 12 to 14 days so um, I'm going to leave them until she walks off the nest if they don't hatch uh, and then we'll try her again so not overly concerned about that but um, yeah so far so good heartbreak to follow and we'll pop outside now So outside the room now, it is a, uh, a particularly nicer day than it was last time we were here. It was pouring down with rain, so spring has definitely sprung. There's my, I think it's a magnolia tree. If I move around that way, you'll be able to see it behind me. I don't know if you can see any of the flowers, but there are some flowers on there, so that's looking good. And then in the flight here, the linnets are looking in really good nick. So, um, have given them a little bit of live food, have given them a little bit of nesting material. They've got three sites in there to choose from. Um, they seem to be enjoying it. Um, so we'll see. Well, listen, that's all we've got time for. If you've enjoyed it, please hit the like button. If you've got any comments, put them down below. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please think about subscribing. Until next time, take care.